If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about the Zoom F2. This is the Bluetooth version. They make a Bluetooth and a non-Bluetooth. And there's usually a couple of reasons why you're thinking about maybe buying one of these. It's portable audio recorder. And this is very portable. Comes with a lavalier. But really the big thing is, is about how easy it is and how 32-bit float just really makes life better. If you're not familiar with 32-bit float, the short and the long of it is, is that you have to worry less about it being peaked or too soft. Um, it just is kind of like raw format for audio almost, if you're familiar with raw video. It just gives you the ability to recover if something's really, really loud. It doesn't peak out, you can recover that and pull it back down. Or if it's too soft, you can turn up the volume level on it and not raise the noise floor. These are $199. You can get them on Amazon or B&H. I'll put a link in the description, but it comes with a lavalier mic and it really is set it and forget it. It, it has pretty simple controls. There's an input and an output. So if you want to monitor with headphones, you can. There's a USB-C that lets you dump it to the computer or you can pop out the micro SD if you'd like. It supports up to a 512 gigabyte micro SD. I have no idea why anyone would use one that large, but it does support it. I use a 32 gigabyte and it has plenty of room for most anything you can imagine. It uses two AAA batteries. You're gonna get about eight to 12 hours depending on if it's alkaline, nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, etc. And it has a little cover here that you pop off and, and you can see the batteries are there. Um, it has a little slot for a little micro SD card that you can pop in there. You'll have to buy one of those. It comes with a lavalier mic that works pretty well. Um, and a clip, like belt clip, if you want to clip it on a belt or whatever. You really just have to just turn it on and hit record once it's kind of booted up. And then there's a hold option to keep people from accidentally like turning it off and on. There are some buttons on here that let you play back audio. I never use that. It never is a, a reason to. Um, I don't want to monitor it because the whole point of me buying one of these is because I just turn it on, hit record. I don't have to set levels. I don't have to do anything. 32-bit float is a little bit magical almost. Now, let's be real. You can't just expect that this is going to be absolutely perfect in every instance. It is possible to, um, you know, blow this out, but the likelihood is very, very slim with this device. I've never had it blow the audio out where I couldn't recover it. This is not a line level 32 bit float. So you can't plug this into a DJ board or anything like that to get line level feeds to it. You probably could, but it's not really built for that. So don't think about it as using it for that. Think about it for a lavalier. What do I don't like about it? And some of the complaints are that this little door for the batteries is really not very sturdy. And that's true. But I think if you just are pretty, you know, gentle with it, it'll be fine. Um, some people complain about the little micro SD door not being sturdy enough. I never take it out. I always just use a USB-C cable, plug it in your computer and dump the files off of there. There's no digital display like a Tascam DR10L or anything like that. And some people feel like they need that, but with this device, it's kind of set it and forget it. You don't need to look at settings. There's no reason. So they didn't have to add it to this, in my opinion. The lavalier is pretty good that they send. There are a couple things I don't like about it. It came with a plastic clip that clipped onto people's shirts. I replaced that with a metal clip. I just didn't trust it. Uh, I felt like it would just pop off too easy. I got the metal one that actually has a little springy clamp to hold it on there and, and a good solid clip. I also stole the, the, the mesh metal covers that are on the Tascam DR10Ls and put it on the Zoom mics. Um, these are pretty good mic overall. It does have a locking uh, connector, barrel connector, so that it won't accidentally pull out. And the reason I got the Bluetooth version is because at like weddings or events, I can be at the back of the venue and I can pull out my phone and Bluetooth connect to it and just make sure it's recording. That's it. I don't change any settings. I don't adjust levels or try to do anything fancy. It's just peace of mind to be able to check it and make sure it is actually still running. The other thing about it is, is that the complaint is you can't format the card from here. I just plug it into my computer and take care of all of that. Um, Zoom does have an, an app for your computer 
and an app for your phone. You can't form a mat from the phone over Bluetooth, but you just plug this into a computer and go to their app and you can format if you need to. But heck, I don't even format that office often. I just copy the files off and when I'm done, I just delete them off the SD card. So if you're one of those people that wants to format every time, maybe that's a little more difficult. But at $199 for the Bluetooth version, and I think it's $179 for the non-Bluetooth version, this is a great product that makes your life simple. When you're on the go at a shoot, no matter whether it's commercial or a wedding, all you want to do is turn this thing on, hit record, and know that it's working. That's exactly what it does. Um, I don't have to worry about the levels. It's always recoverable. So, yeah, it's a great product. Go buy one. I put the link in the description. I have two of these. I use them at every wedding and almost every event that we use. So I think it's a really great product. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.